we get started, here's a little bit about myself. <clears throat> my name is Adeje Duncan, representing iMarket Fly. Some of you may know me from Forex 101 on IML TV. Also, I was an educator for 10 mm. years, and now I'm here educating you on the facts and methods of Forex. In order to get started on this journey, you need to remember one thing and one thing only. I am a student, always. This is very important. You may know me from Forex 101 on IML TV. Also, I was an educator for 10 years, and now I'm here educating you on the facts and methods of Forex. In order to get started on this journey, you need to remember one thing and one thing only. I am a student, always. This is very important for you to remember and to remind yourself of often. You will hear me use this phrase frequently as a reminder that you are a student that is learning a skill that will pay you for the rest of your life. Make sure that you Take your time and learn what you need to learn. Pace yourself. Do not compare yourself to anyone else's progress. Always keep a winning mind frame and you will do very well in this industry. I'm gonna show you real quick how to draw support and resistance, okay? Um, or not draw, but yeah, how, how to use your tools to draw them. So you see here, my line, I got these little crosshairs. I can see right now as I'm looking, here is an area of support, see that? So I'm going to go ahead and put my line right about here, somewhere around there, all right? And you can easily, you know, that that's just where I chose to put it. Remember, I also did tell you guys that it's more of an area than anything. So it doesn't just have to be this line. Honestly, if you wanna know what I would do, I like to use this, I like to more so use this rectangle thing right here. Um, and I like to draw more of an area. So that's like a support area. You know, here's another one that I would draw, that I would look at. So you can see how it's a lot of support in this area, some support here, some resistance there. Okay, so that, that's one way that you can draw support and resistance, you know, and, and it varies per person. You can do them as much as you want. Like maybe this is a good area right here. You know, really, everybody sees things totally different. Here's another one. Yeah. Now I see, maybe, maybe you see this, you know, I see, you see, we don't see. Okay, so, you know, right here, this is a nice area, um, meaning I'm looking to see if this is going to be more of a cell than anything. I'm looking for a cell here. Now this is this area, and the past has nice. came and turned around. Right so. here, it's struggling. So that's, that's one. All right, so that's how you would draw support resistance. Remember, they're the same thing. Now, how do you draw trend lines? Um, I like to go and use this little rotated rectangle because I like to use it more as, um, as a trend line. In order to draw a trend line, or in order to draw support resistance, but more specifically, in order to draw a trend line, you just need two points to connect. You know, a minimum of two points to connect. Obviously, the more points, the merrier. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you, you know, here's, here's an example of a trend line. Oh, that's so hard. Not really. See that? See that little area right there? Okay, and now I like to use this because remember, I like to look at it more as an area. You see how all in this area, this was kind of like support here, support there, support here, you know, it broke through and now it's kind of more like resistance. Maybe it's going to turn around, maybe it's gonna do its own thing. All right, there's there's an example of one. Uh, here's another example of, or excuse me, of a trend line. See, you just need two lines to connect. You see the two lines that I have connecting? That's all you need. You know, because down the line in the past, like those, they, they can start to really respect each other. They really can. So right here, it was resistance here, resistance there. It broke through and look, it totally went another direction, right? So that is really, it really, really is that simple. That's all you have to do. Here's another example. You want to see another example? Okay. Remember, you just need two points to connect. I like to use this line, you know, you can use an actual trend line, but remember, I like to use this one more because it's like an area. You just need two points to connect. In this situation, there's really a lot of points connecting here, a lot, okay? See all that? All of that action right here, all that resistance going on right here, it finally broke through, it came down, and it just kept on going, it just kept on going its merry way, all right? See this, like there's a trend line just waiting to be drawn right here. And I'm trying to tell you guys, 
drawing these trend lines is subjective. This is what I see, but I guarantee you other people see this too. Other people see this too, not just me. So So your trend line, you might not have chose to draw it there. You might have chose to draw it some other place, like maybe here, going across. It's all valid, but this is test to type. Mm. You draw them. So there you go. Support, support. Hopefully that gives you the. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's a record like a hand. But it's a record like a hand. It's a record like a hand. It's a record like a hand. Good idea. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw and would like a shot of the live session, please bring